Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, and on today's episode, we're gonna show you how to take off a wetsuit in less than 30 seconds. Now, this video is designed for beginner and advanced triathletes, and also open water swimmers who are just looking to take off their wetsuit as efficiently as possible. Now, there's two kinds of wetsuits. We have a full body wetsuit like this. This is a Zone 3 Vanquish premium suit, and that means it covers your arms. The other kind of wetsuit is sleeveless and these skills apply except that sleeveless is gonna be a little bit faster to take off. Now the first step in taking off a wetsuit is on the very back, most of these will have a Velcro fastener and you're gonna to wanna to unvelcro that to be unleash the zipper. Now the zipper is what ultimately keeps the suit together on you. And you can actually start this process as you're running out of the water. So if the race has a beach like most, you're gonna finish the race and you're actually gonna be able to do this before you even get out of the water. So by the time you get out of the water, you've already done step one, which is to start the process by opening up the, fat, the Velcro. You're gonna pull down the zipper with a nice, uh, with one strong arm movement. Now it won't tear because you're gonna pull straight down and now that's gonna immediately open up your back and it's actually gonna make it easier for you to move around and breathe because you're not as constrained. So once you're, once you're running out of the water, you can move on to step two. You can start to peel the arms off. So you'll take one arm, uh, one shoulder, followed by the next, one arm followed by the next arm. And you should actually have your arms almost completely uh, exposed by the time you're at transition area. So you can do a lot of this before you even get to the water and that'll make your transition time that much faster. So step three is to pull the suit down past your torso and past your waist. So the upper body is relatively simple, right? You take one arm off at a time, you pull the suit down, you unroll it. And then once you get down to to pass your hips, you're gonna wanna do one big arm pull rather than like a lot of little ones. It's better to grab the inside of the suit and do a nice big pull all the way down to the floor, to the ground, um, rather than a lot of small side to side movements, right? So one big pull and that'll set you up for step number four is to actually step on the wetsuit, right? This is the biggest difference between someone who can do a wetsuit, take it off fast, and someone who's gonna take three minutes to take it off. So you actually want, once the suit is, uh, the top part is down to the ground, you actually wanna lift one of your legs up and you wanna step on the top of the wetsuit and then do a high knee to lift your opposite leg out of the wetsuit, right? And you're gonna alternate two or three big high knee steps by, and by stepping on the wetsuit, that is the fastest way to take it off. And it won't do any damage to the suit as long as you make sure your foot is making full on contact. Uh, bonus tip here is to put a towel at transition area. So that way you can be standing on a towel, your feet are dry. You have no worries about putting the suit on something because you're just putting your suit on a towel and then you're stepping on it, right? And if you're really fast, you can do this in only three high knee movements and the suit's gonna pop off right away. If the suit doesn't actually um, finish off your ankles and it's still hanging at your ankles, that's the final step. Take it off completely, pull out one foot at a time. Now, if you're tired and you feel disoriented, at this point, you can sit down on your towel, sit down on the ground, and you can pull it off. The worst thing you want to do is to start sitting on the ground while the suit is still at your waist and your legs are not exposed at all. It is significantly more difficult to take the wetsuit off when you're sitting on the ground. Um, and so oftentimes you'll see people at a triathlon race in transition, they're on the beach, they're in the water, they're on their back, they're kicking and screaming. There's people that are there trying to help them. It's actually a lot slower if someone helps you rather than if you just do it yourself and you step on the suit and you pull your legs out by yourself. So if you're able to do that, awesome. You're gonna be so much faster in the transition area. So let's talk about some tips. Once you have the wetsuit off and you've completed your race, how do we maintain the wetsuit and make sure that it's in good shape uh, in this whole process? So uh, the first one is to wash your wetsuit off in cold water after the swim, right? So you completed your race in the lake, in the ocean, the pond, wherever you did the swim, uh, it's gonna collect some either uh, seaweed or anything like that and wash it off in cold water and then leave it to hang uh, outside to dry inside out and uh, make sure that it's not directly in the sun because the sun can actually damage it if you leave it in the sun uh, for hours at a time. So make sure it's in the shade, hang it. Uh, and if you have a mesh bag, that's the best way to keep things clean and tidy. So, you know, this is a cool mesh bag. You put your wetsuit in it and it'll keep it. Uh, it could be moist and wet, but until you can get home 
or wherever you're gonna hang it, you can do that. So I definitely recommend the mesh bag. If yours doesn't come with one, you should get one. Um, and you can wash your wetsuit, a lot of people don't know this, you can actually wash it depending on the suit uh, with soap and water. And you should do that once per season to keep it long. The advantage of a wetsuit over a pool competition suit is the fact that you can use a wetsuit over multiple seasons. A pool competition suit you can use for multiple races and that's it. So you wanna take care of your wetsuit, you just spend some money on it, right? So make sure it's, it's got the integrity to last a while, right? I would say the biggest tip to not tear your wetsuit and to keep it lasting is not to rush anything, right? So we have five steps five basic steps to take off the wetsuit. Don't rush them. If you're a pro, you can take your wetsuit off in 15 seconds, right? That's blazing fast. If you're moderate and average, you're gonna take 30 to 60 seconds, right? 30 seconds, most people can do if they follow these steps, they're physically fit, and they've done it a couple times, you should be able to do it in less than 30 seconds from start to finish. And if you're on the slow end, you're gonna take over a minute, right? And that most likely you're not following these steps. So make sure you follow the steps. You should be able to take it off in less than a minute. Given that, don't rush it, right? What does one second really matter? And then it's not really worth tearing your suit, right? So make sure you follow the steps. If you follow the steps, you should be really, really fast. We're talking transition area. Total time should be less than two minutes, less than a minute. If you're a pro, we're talking like 30 seconds or less. Uh, next tip is don't be lazy with the process, right? Follow the steps. Don't get lazy on the pull, right? That's how you tear it. That's how you uh, degrade the, the integrity of the suit. Make sure you're not lazy and practice, practice, practice. The advantage again is that a wetsuit will last multiple seasons. So there's no harm in taking your time to put the wetsuit on. Check out our other YouTube video um, on all of our social media on how you can put a wetsuit on. But this video is how you take the wetsuit off and there's no better way than to practice, practice, practice. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments of this video. And if you have any other tips, please be sure to share them. Be sure to share them as well. That was Whiteboard Wednesday, how to take a wetsuit off in less than 30 seconds. Good luck in your next competition or open water swim. Happy swimming, bye.